Hello, this is a tutorial on how to hack the bosses, that is to say Testament, Justice, and Biken, in Atlas's Guilty Gear 1 for the PlayStation 1. As with all of these tutorials, I recommend going back and viewing the very first video just as an introduction as to how you actually do this kind of hacking in the first place. For this, as with every other kind of hacking, you're going to need the program you want to hack open, you're going to need a hacking program such as Art Money, and you're going to need the character values listed. That's not the same for every single game, but it's necessary here because if you can see, the characters are not in order of character value. Now that's very important because if you didn't know that, and you tried to hack them, you wouldn't be able to find the character value, and as a result you wouldn't be able to hack and play as a boss. This was a request for the user Animaniaco, and he's going to kill me once he realizes just how easy this is. So. All you need to do, as with basically any of these, is initially search for a value associated with a particular character. So this is chip, and that means we need to search for the number 4. Then let's go to Axel, and we'll search filter, rather, for 6. With Cliff, we'll then search for 8, because that is his character value. Got that there. And then we go to, well, whoever you like, but I'm going to go to Sol, who is 2. And yeah, there we go. That's it. Character values galore. And then we'll type in A. 0A is how it works in hexadecimal format. Uh, this automatically translates it from hexadecimal format, though. So as you can see, once I put in that, it goes to 10. And because I've done that, it's now highlighting testament, even though I shouldn't be able to do so. When I go to 11, as you can see, 11 is equivalent of 0b, it goes to justice, and 12, it goes to biken. In hexadecimal format, 10, 11, 12 actually come after 0a, 0b, 0c, 0d, 0e, and 0f. That's not as important here, but it is important to remember that it's not the same value in its regular format. This translates the hexadecimal format into decimal just for ease of use. So freeze the value in place here, and then select the character. And that's it. It's as simple as that. It is just as simple as that, it's just about knowing those character values, or else you simply won't be able to do it, as well as making sure that you do use a hacking program when you do so. Unfortunately with the bosses in this game, you always fight Potemkin on every single stage. Even in the final stages you fight him, and then after, after you complete the game, the game just crashes, basically. Why is this? Well, as I did explain to Animaniaco, it's because of character value 0, zero. You see, I think every single character has a preset arcade mode. But as the boss characters don't, it just defaults to the regular first character, which of course is Potemkin. C'est la vie. And that's it. Simple and as easy as that. Hope that helps you out. Hope that helps out anybody who requires this. As always, feel free to ask if you have any questions, and good luck. Thanks very much for watching.